Hey YouTube, all right, this is the general overview of my refined collection, I guess. If I'm going to start calling myself a pipe collector, I assume. This is kind of showing the overall theme of everything. I've got a couple other pipes uh, that are not in this uh, set necessarily, but this kind of gives a overview of everything here. And I just wanted to kind of touch on that and kind of show you one big cohesive picture of what they all look like. Pretty obvious. Um, I like uh, mostly uh, bent or slightly bent pipes. I like pipes with acrylic bits. And I like a dark finish as well as preferably a sandblast. Uh, just for general upkeep overall. Uh, that is kind of how it looks here, guys. So, uh, just quickly running down on the left here. This is a, a Suge, but just a traditional billiard. And then my Morda, uh, Briarworks author, Bent Egg by Scoveguard, Bent Egg by Vonin, uh, Big Brandy, uh, this fourth generation, that's actually, uh, Nurup. And then, um... Big Old Freehand by Nording from 1985. A smaller Bulldog by Nording. This is the 1998 Beaver uh, Hunter series by Nording. And a nice uh, little Sailor by Nording. This is the pipe that started it all, really. And I think it's got a bit of a Danish influence on it. This is just an Edwards pipe. Uh, but the second pipe I ever bought. This one is a Stanwell. Uh, this is the uh, ukulele shape, and I had the stem redone on this one because it did not have the original stem or even the second stem on there. And then big Stanwell pot. And then here are Scott Klein handmaids, uh, a Suge bamboo billiard, a Suge uh, volcano. A Suge Horn, which is still probably my almost favorite pipe of all time. Uh, this is the Allen Brothers Horn. Uh, this is the uh, Vermont Freehand Briar Works. This is another old um, Danish um, shape. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on what this one is. And then this is the, uh, the Strawberry from Neptune Pipes. So that's the the overall impression of that. And then what I want to do, uh, talk about or mention briefly as far as handmaids. So obviously my, my newest one here by Scoveguard, this is, um, uh, Scoveguard here, all these Scott Kleins, and then, um, this Allen Brothers, and then to a lesser extent, the Briarworks pipes, but those don't quite fall into the same category. But the the first three, the Biscove Guard, the Allen Brothers, and the Scott Kleins, they're all essentially second tier pipes from high end carvers. So these are guys that make high end artisan pipes. And they've essentially just got to the point where the market can only, you know, supply so much supply and demand. Artisan pipe makers can only make and sell so many artisan pipes. And, the, you know, a bulk of my and probably a large amount of everyone else's collection is, you know, sub $200 pipes. So with the those particular pipes and these makers scoveguard just started this i guess in 2000 uh, in 2020 so this is fairly new for him but they're basically just you know doing the block doing the briar by hand you know quickly turning it out drilling it to their specs and then they're attaching an acrylic you know a pre-made acrylic stem that they're tweaking to their specifications same scott klein does the exact same thing with these i mean hand hand making the 
the the briar attaching the stem and then tweaking the stem to the the fit and finish of his liking and that's what uh jeff grasick and his brother were doing with these pipes as well the allen brothers pipes they were getting the stummels from italy scott taught or excuse me uh jeff taught his brother uh, some of the techniques and everything his brother finished up most of it and then shipped it from uh, Pennsylvania down to California to uh, to um, Jeff and Jeff finished out the pipes so these you know this one was all these pipes were about hundred and fifty dollars roughly that I'm talking about and it's just you know you know it's still kind of a handmade product they're not being machine made turned out like this Stanwell or a lot of these other pipes were, you know, made on a, a copy machine or a, or a lathe mostly. The Briarworks pipes, you know, most of the Briarworks guys are artisan pipe makers as well, but they're turning most of these out CNC essentially and then doing the, the finish of the pre-made stems and everything, but they're running more of a, you know, replication. Whereas these are more one-offs. Um, the, the Allen Brothers, you know, was more of a replication because they were getting a couple of patterns and just replicating them. But the Biscove Guard and the uh, Scott Kleins that I like so much, you know, they're all just one-off pieces. And I thought that was really cool because, you know, I don't think I would be one to ever really smoke a full-on handmade uh, high-end artisan pipe and spending a thousand you know or even several hundred dollars on a pipe or thousands in many cases um, but you still get something that is made by a master at just a little more of an approachable reasonable price point and I don't think the difference in smoking quality could possibly be that noticeable to be honest all right thanks for listening to me and babble about pipes all afternoon guys take it easy